And have a look at the crossover. This is the Heimer crossover. Oh, what, sorry? Oh, yeah, I'll look at that in a sec. Heimer, Heimer car, Yosemite, 59,000 pounds, under f six meters, two, 130 brake horsepower engine. And it's got a pop up roof. So as you get in, it's fridge. Right up. Fridge there. Okay. On it? Yeah, I'll go. Two burner hob and a little sink. No oven. And beds at the back. A nice big bed at the back. Yes. Huge bed at the back. It's laid out with they've got a bed in it. Compact washroom. And a drop down sink. And that there. Is a great way of banging your head, as I've just found out. Oh, I'm not going to go up there, but it's fairly large up there. But I'm reading lights, that's nice. But I think I'd be using that bed. And I don't think I'd bother with that bed. A nice little fold out table, which you go folds in half. Travel seats look really comfy. <laughs> Poppy's attracted some attention. Mercedes. MLT 540. 6.39 metres long transverse bed over garage. Sort of a L-shaped sofa, I think. Lovely seats. I always like the Mercedes seats. Very wide and comfortable. Really nice lockers. Full cooker. Smallish sink. I suppose that's the work surface. It's a an electric hot plate and a biggish fridge. The drawer at the bottom and a freezer compartment at the top. So this thing that always puts us off these vans is the steps. So it's quite a big step up to the bed. Got it. And a bit of a cut off there as well. So if you've got a narrow person on this end, you can have a big person on that end. Lots of lockers. Very nice looking sink. And a bench type toilet. Yeah, no drop down bed. That saves quite a lot of space. There's only really, really two berths. In the vans is wandering off. Yeah. Uh, a huge garage. Yeah. Absolutely enormous garage. Your know, priority is getting a bike or a motorbike in there. I'm sure you would. Tie down points. Somewhere to put your helmets. Even space over there. And I suppose that. I can open it. That's oh, all your gas. There's a gas locker in there. That's good. Yeah. The only trouble with that is because if you put a load of stuff in front of it, yeah, well, if you've got your motorbike you and all that, yeah, there, yeah. You'd have to, uh, yeah. But how often do you change your gas bottle? You don't change it that often. Yeah, but I bet you'd moan. I'd, well, I'd definitely moan. <laughs> if I find something to moan about. <laughs> Ended up looking at Heimers again, haven't we? Yeah. We seem to be looking at Heimers, don't know why. Say they're our favourite van, are they, or anything like that? No. I think Heimers sort of show people how to do things. This is quite a big one, isn't it? This is a massive one. That's a 
blue upholstery. Lovely lockers. And it's got decent workspace considering it's got a full oven. And it's probably got electric plates as well, isn't it? Yeah. Nice big fridge. We like big fridges. And this is uh, the wash area in the middle of the van. So you've got your shower. It's presumably you can... oh, That's good, you can close that off. And you can close the rest of the van off. And you've got a big sort of area there. There's your wash basin. Toilet. You could still have a shower in relative peace. Yeah, it's good. And then you've got your bed, which is in its raised day position here, so it gives you a bit of space to walk around. Nice bit of hanging rails there. Yeah. 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 Gentleman says he watched all your videos. All oh, right. There's where your telly goes. Oh, pops. It's a nice one. This pops. I think you'd like this. Little cupboards there for you. Uh, it could be a poppy cupboard. Yeah, could put our food in there, couldn't you? Have, oh, that's quite, that, is, <laughs> that is the biggest cutlery drawer I think I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Look at that. Yeah, tins. Tins and things, yeah. And you've, got, you've got a little locker under there as well. You've got these big lockers here. You know what? I'd rather, I'd rather like this. I was just saying earlier, I'm not that keen on Heimers. Well, this is one to change my mind. Saying you can't try out the seats because it says please do not sit. I think they would be comfortable enough. <laughs> oh, lovely bed. Yeah, this this is quite good, isn't it, for the preparation yeah. area. This uh, yeah. here. Yeah. Well, nice cooker. And the table's not too huge. No. We've got no drop-down bed in this, so. No. So it gives a real feeling of space. It's a lovely ceiling, isn't it? Yeah. So it's four berths, so I presume you can make the bed up down here, but who would ever do that? I don't know, I don't know how you do that. TV's there. Yeah. Importantly. Have a look at the bed. Yeah, I have. It's lovely. No TV in the bedroom. So what's this? This is the... Oh, the Flow V601. Isn't that the one Andrew Ditton's in? Is it the 601? It's definitely a V600 or something. Yeah. But nice big step there to get in, isn't there? That worked. Can you hold that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No cooker. No, it should be a hob. Just a hob. You can't get in. There we go. Two burner hob. And sink. Oh my goodness, I'll start at the bed at the back.
first of all. You've got a double bed at the bottom. And above that, you've got a, another bunk above that. So presumably, that, I would imagine that slides. So you would have to climb in over the top of someone. Goodness me. Small, the, bathroom, isn't it? the bathrooms, yeah. Well, the bathroom is my width, probably a little bit bigger. Perhaps I'm being a bit unkind there. <laughs> but uh, travel seats look nice. It's got this sort of brushed effect. Storage space over there, which is handy. What's Poppy doing? Yeah, I'm a little put off by this arrangement at the back. You'll you have to have a look at it. But All right. what do you reckon to the bed at the back there? Well, it says they're removable, so so you'd, you'd leave that at home, would you? You leave. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom's fine. Yeah. Bottom's good, isn't it? Yeah. That's that uh, thing you. You. Sorry, can you? You can tip the bed up, can't you? This bit. Yeah. And then to get to the back, you can lift this up here. You lift that out of the way, and you can get at what you've got in the garage. Right. <laughs> I think we always end up at looking at an altar sleeper, don't we? <laughs> no, we won't do that. No. <laughs> Let's have a look, see and find something different. Oh, nice there. Oh, no, lovely, lovely, lovely lounge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really nice sort of. Yeah. Oh, that's one we haven't seen for a while, isn't it? The, the Gloucester on a Heimer. Obviously a used one, isn't it? Mm. So it's a used one, so that's £38,000, six berth, two belted seats. Six berth, two belted seats, yeah. And it's a 3880 kilograms van, so C1 licence for this. It's, how long is it? 7.29 meters long and it's an automatic on a mercedes let's have a look it's like a little um cottage in here <laughs> great big bed up there you could always when you see these used motorhomes you've got to remember how much it is and how much motorhome you're getting here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this this area here is is so wide. It is, isn't it? Yeah. You've got a full cooker, electric hot plate, microwave, solid feeling lockers, a big fixed bed with a not a bad cut off. And a really nice bathroom with a squeaky door. The shower in there. I'm struggling to get through this door with this rucksack on my back. <laughs> Table in there. I always like I always like a cupboard that's got a, table a separate yeah, cupboard for a table. It's your major disappointment, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. What's of interest in electrics in here? <laughs> oh, table comes up oh, table. TV comes out from here. It's different. Yeah, thirty-eight thousand pounds. Mm. And it looks like it's got air ride suspension. If you look down there, it's got two gauges. 
will help you for the air ride. I pumped up with air. That keeps it a lot steadier on the road. It's a control panel, I remember. That one. And it had a telco aerial on it, whether it's still got that. Um, satellite aerial, telco satellite aerial. And that would make a really big double bed there. Pull together sofas. Yep. This is an auto sleeper Broadway. Two berth, two belted seats with a fixed bed. It's 7.165 meters long, but it's 3,500 kilogram. So anyone with a reasonable license can can uh, drive it. It's got a French style bed at the back. I don't know quite how wide it is. It looks a bit narrow in bits. Lovely fridge freezer. It's a freezer. Microwave, really comfortable seats, really nice. Full size cooker, nice sink, the cupboards. side bathroom a nice shower little towel rail it would be our, our choice wouldn't it this is a to sleep at Burford Duo with a, the twin beds at the back, so it's 7.8 meters long, two and two berth or full berth. It says 3880, so C1 license on a Mercedes. Right, so sofas either side, so they pull together to form a, a bed as well. Gives you a lot bigger lounge mm. here, but then you've got no travel seats, of course. So that's why it's, it's four berths sleeping and two berths travelling. It's on a Mercedes. And they, I mean, the Mercedes are very bland looking, but they're obviously very popular for their, uh, for their driving characteristics. How many times do you see a sprinter van storming past you on the motorway? Sink. I would say this was a six-three plate, wasn't it? It's our fridge, fridge freezer. Same fridge freezer. There's your table in its own cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's for your telly. Got all these sort of things like the that's pockets. Nice, yeah, magazine racks. You've got your hot plates and it's got these splash guards as well this one so, so you don't damage your your furniture oven and grill twin beds yeah your hanging space and here's your, here's your shower. Oh. Little roller cupboard. A square shower. Never sure about these little rack things here. But, uh, good. It's good though. The little knitter. Completely on the other end of the scale from that Glo uh, Gloucester, the water sleeper Gloucester. The little hillside Dalbury pop top. £30,000. 1.5 litre diesel engine. So you'd definitely use that as a car and a camper, couldn't you? Mm. Very nice. But just notice over here, 
It's one of the new hillside Heathertons. So this is the medium wheelbase crafter, Euro 6, 63,000 pounds. Doesn't say how, how long it is, but I suppose it's a probably 6, 6.3, something like that. And you've got the, oh, got the rock and roll seat there. Just about standing room in here. But there's more standing room here. And that's part of the bed there. Great, there's workspace there, isn't there? Electric hot plate, induction hob. Combi oven in orange and yeah not a bad bathroom not across the back must be something at the back I'll have a look around the back in a minute so you've got like storage space down there so you can put your bed in down there it's different nice finish to the work surface. It's the fact that you can walk round this here can't you? This is a rib seat. Just hold that so I can sit down. <coughs> Ooh, that's quite a long seat squad. But yeah, it's very comfy. Yeah, I think my feet touch the ground, but I don't think yours would. And yeah, have a look in a minute. Very nicely finished, all this carpet effect on the side. Charging points down there, so you can put your phone in there, that's clever. Mm. A little somewhere else to put books and things down there. Big thick wood cup, wood wooden um, doors on the cupboards. Where did you get that open? There we go. That's uh, a compressor fridge. It's quite a big one. It's one of the biggest compressor fridges I've seen. You get you getting bored, pops? <laughs> Nice big drawers. Oh, really good drawers. Got that slot. Oh, that's part of your. Oh no, it's a cupboard there. Tiny bit of hanging space. I don't know why they bothered there. That is minute. You could fit one coat in there, two coats maybe. Mind you, this time of year you don't need any coats, yeah. This is a manual, isn't it? A manual UW. Yeah. And it's familiar to those of us who drive VWs. The flat bottom steering wheel. So this is the Hillside Hopton 140 brake horsepower engine. 55,880. And a very fetching red. It's a lovely colour. So not much of a there's a narrower to get in here. It's got leather seats. Hello, you're right. Yeah. yeah. And there's a toilet compartment. No sink in there, that's surprising. I suppose it saves space not having a sink in there because you can wash presumably you can wash there as well. So. Again, it's got this induction hob, a little combi oven. But the great thing about this is the massive lounge, absolutely massive. So you could sleep on these on these sofas. That's a great lounge, yeah, isn't it? Isn't it that is. a good lounge? Yeah, lovely. The telly there. I can see why uh, Kelly Camping liked this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. 
did a review of it, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. The finish on them is really good. These cupboards are solid. Oh, look at that hinge thing. Yeah. The yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's so you can stick leave it there. Or... Yeah. Because our cupboard faces shut on my finger, didn't it, once? Yeah. And ours, are, ours are either open or shut, aren't they? Yeah. So you can sort of open it as far as you need to. Yeah. Another cushion there. I don't know where that goes. What would that be for then? I think it does it make up into. Well, you can make it up into a massive double, can't you? But I mean, if I had this, I would. I, you, I'd sleep lengthwise. Is it long enough? Um, now you're asking. I'd be, I'd be fine, <laughs> You'd be fine. No, I think you'd pull it together for a more width. Oh, I'll pull my feet up there. How's that? Your head's right on the Yeah, but they'd be up against the door, wouldn't it? So, yeah. yeah. And I don't I think the feet weren't at the end there. So no, no I think they're six foot. Yeah. Well it's so easy just to pull this yeah. together, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But they wouldn't you wouldn't have much width across. No, no, no. but you could still sleep yeah, you still yeah. have a thing of sleeping long there. Yeah. I suspect what you could do is you could probably pull these out and drop the cushions down yeah, the back. Yeah, because otherwise you end up with what you do with these, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So you get more of a bed yourself if you pulled it out. Yeah. And there's a big compressor fridge here, isn't there? Oh, it's got stuff in it. There you go, that's nice. Bit of Lucozade here. <laughs> oh, that just there's a load of water as well. Smallish cupboard. Where's your hanging space then? Is that it? I think that's your hanging space. The one down below? No, they're drawers down there. Right. Mind you, it's always asking a bit much, isn't it, in a yeah. camper van when you, you know. Sock drawer. Sock door, drawer, yep. Tin drawer. Well, is it tin drawer? I don't know, it might be shoe drawers. <laughs> Uh, they're nice and deep and they're soft clothes, look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a big drawer. I have to step back to film that. That is a big drawer. There's your cutlery drawer. Table, table store stoves in there. I've got these little lockers, shelving space up there. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm, I Go might on. be wrong, but yeah. there's just a little bit that pulls out. Yeah. And there's that cushion. Oh, it only pulls out. Is there another one here? Yeah, that's that's falls no. out with the other one. Yeah. But you know, you said you didn't know what to, that cushion does. Yeah. Could you not, if the other side came out, I can't see what it does or yeah. not. Yeah. Put have the a cushion there, cushion and then there. you've got an all round. I suppose so. Sofa. Yeah. I'm feeling that's really oh, well, it's, good. yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm with you. You're yeah, right. You're right. So, yeah, there is. There's another one that side. Yeah. So, so that obviously pulls out. That pulls out there. And that answers your question. Yeah, what do you do with what that? What do you do with that? Something like that. So then you've got a, a round sofa. Area. Yeah. You'll probably use this as the, Cush shut the back cushion. Yeah. Shut the door, obviously. Yeah. And then you use that as your back cushion. Yeah, well yeah. spotted. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You should work here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you have a big double. Yeah. Verdict. I like it. Absolutely. I, I yeah. really like this look. Yeah. I like the big long the sofa. At the front look nice. Yeah. A yeah. little bit put off by lack of hanging space, but I think I think you'd probably put your clothes in there. You wouldn't be able to bring your big coat. No. Or you'd have to put it somewhere, wouldn't you? You'd have to put it in a top box. TV thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. I like it so much. It takes a brochure. <laughs>